Okay, so this tutorial is about how to set up Apple Mail with Office 365. First of all, you have to have an account already made uh, to join Office 365. And to tell if you have an account uh, already, your grouper account may not be working. So you may try to use your, your Apple Mail and maybe it's it's just simply not functioning so there's your apple mail like you try to to send and nothing is sent or I mean receive and nothing's receiving so you may have been switched over at that point well to test if you are switched over you can, there's another thing you can do is is go, get to our county website and from there if you click on employees and then webmail outlook it will take you to the actual website where we can log in. So try your typical grouper account and I actually do have an account and I logged in. If you didn't have an, a Office 365 account then it would say um, it just wouldn't let you in. So at that point you'd have to contact uh, Chris Jackson and I'll show you the email uh, to contact him now. Okay, so the next step is to actually set it up in Apple Mail and that's what this tutorial is about. So let's go ahead and get started on that. First, I'd like you to open up your Apple Mail program. And here it is. From here, I'd like you to, under the mail, you can't see it right there, but under mail, click on preferences. And then we're going to press the plus button. You can input any name you'd like here. Hopefully it's your real one. Then go ahead and put in your email address. Make sure it's a Pasco County email address, not a Yahoo email address, because it wouldn't work. Uh, your password is going to be, of course, your grouper password. Click continue. It's going to search the mail servers for the specific address. It shows the login. Make sure you, these are grayed out for me because I already made an account on this. Um, just make sure to allow contacts and, and set up calendars and hit create and now you actually have a successful account underneath your Pasco County account you can just disable it if you want to keep your emails um, uh, for future reference you can also re-enable it to check if you have archived messages now your exchange server is going to keep all of your emails um, like was discussed in the first tutorial. The next thing I want to do is talk about the address book. Uh, so what I want you to do from here is open up your address book or your contacts, actually called contacts. If you can't find that there, please click on the smiley face, the finder, because he finds things. Go to Applications and then look for Contacts. It's the one with the book. So when you've opened that up, I want you to go ahead and add an account. You, you do that by going Contacts, Preferences, and then Accounts. Now you'll notice that I've already set this up and I want to show you how to do that. So, from here, go to the plus. When it says account type, I want you to select LDAP. What we're doing during in this step is we're co connecting to the district directory services. So if you start typing someone's name, it's automatically going to fill it out for you. 
and I'll give you an example of that in a second. Let's go ahead and set it up. So from here, you're going to type directory.pasco.k12.fl.us. Go ahead and click on that arrow, and you'll see the server options. Then you're going to go ahead and check the box for SSL. That number 636 will automatically change from whatever number it was before. And then you just click continue. Now for description, you can type whatever you'd like here. I'm just going to type directory Pasco County Schools. Now your search base, it's important that you pay attention to these directions specifically, and we'll zoom in on this. You're going to type in DC equals Pasco, comma, DC equals K12, comma, DC equals FL, comma, DC equals US. So Pasco K12 FL US. And then from there, what I'd like you to do is just simply hit create. Okay, so what that has done is, and yours may look different from mine, but basically what we've done there is if I decide to create an email in mail, and I start just typing in a, a person's first two, couple of letters, it's going to show me everyone that has J-O anywhere in the beginning of their name. And that's a real handy thing to have when you're trying to, um, if you don't know somebody's email address, you just type in their name or some of their name and it'll find it for you. Okay, that does it for setting up Apple Mail with the Office 365 Exchange Server. Thank you.